Next up at Noche UFC, we have Charlie Campbell stepping up on short notice to replace Natan Levy to take on Alex Reyes. You really kind of did him dirty, huh? You couldn't look up a picture? Like a there's fight not picture? A better, there's not a better picture of... I used a fight picture for my graphics. Were his arms out? No. He just, it's just a regular-ass picture. I'll, I'll put it on screen right now. Hold on. Yeah, no thank you. Taking on Alex Reyes, who hasn't fought... Oh, my God. Taking on Alex Reyes, who has not fought in the UFC in six years because of some pretty large medical concerns. Charlie Campbell, 7-2 and two overall. He's 4-1 and one in his last five. He is stepping up on short notice into his UFC. Yeah, but that was so pixelated. That's the UFC's picture. It was insanely pixelated. I couldn't use that. Like it was uh, Maybe you should get a better PC because mine rocks and rolls on that thing. Okay. Um... Taking on Alex Reyes, 13-3 and three overall, 4-1 and one in his last five, and he's returning to the cage, as I mentioned, after six years away. Charlie Campbell, he's coming out of that uh, Sarah Longo gym with Aljo Marab and others. He's a technical striker. He likes to pick his shots. He wants to use accuracy instead of just charging forward with just reckless abandon uh, and combinations. He can be a bit hittable, though, because he keeps his hands low, but he does have nice light kicks, great takedown defense, and he's very busy on top. He's coming off of the, or out of that Sarah Longo fight gym. So I mentioned he's got Marab, he's got Aljo, and, you know, so he's getting the wrestling looks, he's getting the striking looks from some of the people there. So he's been training at a pretty high level for a good amount of time. He's taking on Alex Reyes. This guy's coming back after almost six years away. He did have some major health issues. You know, he's insisted he's totally fine, even though he did just have to back out of a fight uh, a month or two ago. But, you know, things are very, very different. It's it's hard to say what he's going to look like now. So all I can do is look at what his fights used to be like and assume it'd be similar. He is Dominic Reyes' younger brother. I think, is he older brother or younger brother? Probably he's older. He's 36. Yeah, most likely. But he's He Dominic looks like Reyes's. an older brother. He's got that older brother energy. He does. You have a little audio lag if you want to leave and come back. Um, very unnecessary. Prior to his layoff, though. So let's talk about his fighting style prior to his layoff because that's all we can go off of. He was a forward pressure guy. He would brawl on the feet then he would quickly look to grapple. On top, he's going to posture up. He's going to throw big, heavy bombs and he's going to look for that stoppage. He's been gone for six years, as I mentioned. So we can only assume that he is maybe a little bit better version of what he was or far worse, depending on what logic you subscribe to. This uh, this fight has some pretty wild odds. I was hoping, because this was put together on Saturday-ish, Sunday, something like that. I was hoping that we would get Charlie Campbell at some affordable odds, but he, minus 400 right off the rip. He's still sitting at minus 400 right now. And it makes sense because I love Charlie in this spot. His striking is great. His takedown defense is great. He can control this entire fight. He can keep it on his feet if he wants. And Alex has gone way too long without fighting at all. Not regional fighting, didn't leave the UFC, work some competitions, then come back. He just hasn't been fighting at all. He's been gone a very, very long time. He's 36 years old. I think the sport is passing him by. So I'm all over Charlie Campbell here. You're going to see when you do your own research that you know Chris Duncan laid him out. And there's a million reaction videos because Dana White loved it on the contender shoot. But Chris Duncan is absolutely not a bum. And Charlie Campbell was lighting that dude up in that fight too. So long story long here. I'm all over Charlie Campbell. I think he's a pretty safe bet on this card. We think Jakey Boy. Yeah, I like Charlie in this fight as well, because even if it was Alex Reyes of six years ago or whatever, I still think that Charlie is good enough to beat that version that I've seen in Alex Reyes, and that's nothing good against Alex. He's a, he's a well-rounded fighter, decent striker, obviously got knocked out by, by Mike Perry with that knee, but you know, kind of is what it is, but even before his layoff, it's not like he was a bum, right? He got knocked out by Mike Perry, but he was, I mean, he was 13-3, and three, so that means he was 13-2, and 13-3, and 13-2 before that. So it's not like he's a bum coming back and then you know for sure. This guy was a talented guy. And he says that he's been training and training and with these high-level guys in his camp and he feels confident about it. So yeah, Charlie Campbell's a play here. He should win because he should be the better striker even if Alex was who he was, which he's probably not going to be who he was. But this again, at minus 300, minus 400 for just the unknowns and Alex wasn't a complete bum when, before he left, it's like... 
you know, I did sprinkle and I got a little bit more specific with it than just trying to chase like a money line. Um, because if Alex, you know, doesn't show up, I think he's in real trouble, especially early in this fight. If he shows up, it is what it is. But, you know, there's just so many unknowns. He could come back and we just saw and it's a little bit different. But we just saw Veronica Hardy come back three or four years and just absolutely smoke Juliana Miller. And I said in my quick pick video, Charlie Campbell is a much higher level fighter than Juliana yeah, Miller. So that, I don't want to compare the, the two. Yeah. But we, Veronica did look drastically improved even at the long layoff. So Charlie Campbell's the pick. Uh, I think if he gets it done, it's going to be early. And that's how I would play it. I'd stay away from the money line or parlays and stuff. You just never know. Yeah, I'm definitely. Uh, I like Charlie Campbell. I, I don't love money line. Uh, I love him for DraftKings. Yeah, I think he. I think he wins his fight. Why is he that most funny? likely. I'm laughing at the freaking mutt that we just we insisted. Shot collar time. That we insisted on bringing into our lives for no. And it's it's just. That dog already hates you that much that it no, can't I'm, stand to fucking be in the room with you. I'm uh, no, I'm definitely his favorite. He just doesn't Get want to be in out. this room. Get me out of here. I'm that's why out, they're supposed it. to be. That's why you're supposed to be crate trained. You just throw it in the crate, throw a towel over the crate. And they go just go right to sleep. It becomes their little home. It is crate trained at night. Right? Yeah, it looks but like it. Well, it's night and it's not in a crate. It's eight o'clock, dude. It's bedtime is ten. Anyway, ten. Yeah, it's a fucking puppy. Yeah, it's bedtime is ten. It sleeps clean through the night. Watching though, fucking the only murder. Thing. She wrote. That's the only thing I'm not gonna. Uh, the only thing that's been going well. How with do you it's, even it's, stay up till ten? I barely, like barely. I go to bed honestly barely. around nine something. We've been staying up till ten for that thing. Anyway, mm -hmm. I think Charlie Campbell. I, I think he's honestly safe to parlay. Frankly, dude. I mean, just look at it. Alex Reyes has not fought in six years because of major, major medical issues. He says he's and good he's to go. And I try. Yeah, he looks like a trustworthy guy. That. I mean, he looks of like a trustworthy guy. That. He comes up and he's selling me solar panels. I'm buying them for my whole apartment <laughs> complex. <laughs> Of course he looks trustworthy. Look at the guy. Look at that smile. I mean, he's a great looking guy. They I love his little dimples here. too. You get you they, give me a, a man in front of me with some dimples like that. They brought him out here to lose to Natan Levy. And instead, he got a nasty striker with good takedown defense, which I And Natan Levy's like dying, by the way. I saw that. He's got a major blood issue. Yeah. It was like, I don't remember what the blood issue was, but it was like a big issue with his blood. Not good. So, is he dying? No, he's not dying. But there was oh, like a, well, they, found, was, they found they found like blood issues when they did blood work or something like that. But I think yeah, he's yeah, be yeah. fine. He's got to figure out what's going on. Well, so I love Charlie Campbell here. I agree with Jakey Boy. I think he's great in DraftKings at ninety three hundred dollars. I think he probably can win by finish here. I mean, thirty six years old is already like uh oh. Six years away is another uh oh. Like preparing for a grapple and then getting a striker is another pro like there's just I think there's just too many things working against them here. Um, this is a fight where the bet openly odds are spectacular. You're going to get better odds on the favorite side and the underdog side. So that's where you want to throw a bet up there and somebody's sure to take the other side of it. Again, they're not a sports book. It is peer to peer betting, which is why they're available pretty much around the world. If you go to the website, they'll give you the exclusions. It's very few exclusions, but again, it's person versus person. So you put up a bet, it sits on the board and then you wait for another human being to be like, yeah, that's a good bet. And then they grab that side of it. And whoever wins gets all of the money. Become a premium member at wewantpicks.com. You'll unlock all of the stats, all of the data, all of the information, the tools, the bets, everything you could ever imagine to help yourself make some money watching these fights.